So Josh Allen is an absolute superhero. This is a fantasy sports boss with a Thursday night wrap up Tampa Bay Buccaneers losing a close game to the Buffalo Bills 24 to 18. Um, it is Friday, so that means Football Friday live stream this afternoon, probably around five o'clock. So look for the uh, um, for the time. I'm going to be putting that out soon. Uh, so I'd love to see all you guys then. Uh, but last night, yeah, so Josh Allen threw a major scare. And listen, it's been a season full of injuries to key players. Uh, and Allen went down, went into the blue tent with with a shoulder injury. Uh, Kyle Allen, the backup, started to warm up. But Allen, you know, Josh Allen never left the game, luckily. Uh, and uh, Sean McDermott basically played it down, said he's fine. Uh, at halftime when he um, uh, met with uh, a sideline reporter. And so all systems are go. And for Josh Allen, it was another dominant game. 31 of 40, 324 yards, two passing touchdowns, one pick. And he also ran for 41 yards in the score. So Allen, you know, we, he's getting a little bit older. And he's been, you know, all the running he's done the last couple of years, he's gotten, a little, you know, beat, quite beaten up. He had the elbow injury last year. He's got a shoulder problem now. But the guy is an absolute monster. And again, the decision was it was either Allen, Pat Mahomes, or Jalen Hurts as the first quarterback off the board. Uh, Allen has been the best of the three uh, so far. I mean, he's just unbelievably uh, productive, consistent, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, the, the running is down a little bit, but he's starting to pick that up again. He's just awesome. So Allen was the star of the night, 100%. Uh, but he definitely got some contributions. And Dalton Kincaid, who was a popular waiver wire ad this week with uh, Dawson Knox going on IR after having wrist surgery, Kincaid came through. A little bit of a slow start. To, um, Allen missed him a few times, but five catches for 65 yards and a touchdown. So listen, the thing about Dawson Knox is he, he didn't, didn't catch a lot of balls, but he was a big red zone guy. I think Dalton Kincaid will, will be a red zone target like he was yesterday and even have more catches than, than Knox was capable of. Um, as far as the rest of the Bills pass catchers, so I went against Stephon Diggs in one of my leagues. And when you go against a player like Stephon Diggs, Christian McCaffrey, Josh Allen, you just want to get out um, of the matchup without getting absolutely destroyed. And, and you know what? For me, I'll take it. So Stephon Diggs, nine catches for 70 yards. Great. His projected total uh, point PPR points were 18 plus. He had 16. So I'll take that as a small win, right? Because you know he can wreck games. It was it was uh, Gabe Davis though nine catches for eighty seven yards and a touchdown so uh, the the Bucks were throwing some blanket coverage at Diggs which is why it opened up um, uh, shockingly consistent work for Gabe Davis in this one even Khalil Shakir six catches for ninety two yards so they had four different guys working here and James Cook fourteen still got fourteen carries uh, for sixty seven yards four point eight a pop only caught one pass for six yards you can't do everything you know you know you can't have a million guys catching balls. Um, but James Cook, you know, it, it hasn't really, it really has had one good game in the last, you know, what, four weeks or so. So that's a little bit of a concern. But other than that, it was a swell day for all Buffalo Bill uh, players. Baker Mayfield threw two touchdowns in this game, uh, held, you know, kept Tampa Bay in it. You know, Mayfield has, has played fairly well. I'm not going to say he's, he played well, but has played well. But, you know, he's been okay, uh, enough to keep this team competitive. Uh, Rashad White, so, you know, he, he too has been pretty bad this season, but he was good yesterday. So nine only nine carries for 39 yards. Well, not you know, they fell behind early, but seven catches for 70 yards. So, um, listen, he's not a good runner. We know that. We saw it last year. We've seen it this year. He, running the ball, you know, his average is not great. Um, he's got some Najee Harris in him. Uh, but he can catch the ball like he's a tremendous receiver. So uh, this was a really good uh, game for him. I, you know, he's only had, you know, two, maybe three decent outings so far uh, through, through seven weeks. Um, overall disappointing, but this was a good game. Chris Godwin was the main beneficiary in the receiving game. Five catches for 54 yards in the score. Mike Evans got in, uh, got a touchdown in three, but only three catches for 39 yards. Um you know, he's been good for about a touchdown a week, pretty much, Mike Evans. So, uh, you know, he's never. this is what Mike Evans does. Like, he's not going to have that consistency like a Stephon Diggs does. Diggs is always going to have those numbers every week. Um, Evans will will have those nuclear weeks, and then he's going to have the quiet weeks. But in the end, he's going to have his typical 1,000 yards. He's going to be near or at double-digit receiving touchdowns. So I'm not worried about him at all there. Um, so anyway, so that was the wrap-up for yesterday, guys. Again, join the live stream later on. Uh, this afternoon. I look forward to seeing you all then. Have a great day, guys.